What I'd like to show you now is how we can do some isometric drawing using just plain paper, copy paper, printer paper, whatever you have available to you. In order to do this and give myself a little bit easier time making my isometric drawings, what I'm going to do is use a ruler or any object with a straight line to give myself some guidelines to follow. So I'm going to start by making a very light guideline that goes up and down and another very light guideline that goes across. I've just turned my ruler so that it is exactly at a 90 degree angle or as close as I can get. So to start drawing my object in isometric perspective, I'm going to start like I've always been doing with that bottom corner. And that's pretty easy. Now for this object, I've got to think about how big I want to make it. And I think what I'm going to do is make it so that each of these line segments is two inches. So that's a pretty big scale compared to what we've been doing. But I think you'll see that it gives us an easier uh, time when we go to make our actual drawing. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to put the, the two inch mark here right at the origin, right at the point where the X and Y, the, the horizontal and vertical lines cross. And I'm going to make a mark here at the zero mark on my ruler. Now that gets me my line that goes straight up and down. But what about this line that goes across or this line that goes across? Well, to do that, we're going to use a similar technique to how we did with graph paper. What I'm going to do is measure two inches over from that center point. And then I'm going to turn my ruler and make a mark at one inch up. Just like we saw with the graph paper, that's going to give us a pretty close approximation of our 30 degree angle. So I'm going to draw a line that goes across there. And I can connect that a little bit better. Now I'm going to take my ruler. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to set it so that the two inch mark is at the end of my line and make another mark at the zero point on the ruler. And I'm going to connect those lines right there. Finally, I'm going to take my ruler and go between this point here and this point here that I made earlier. And I'll draw a line to connect those two points. Again, this isn't quite perfect, and you can see I'm about to run out of space on the top part of this, but it's kind of an easy way to get started with doing isometric drawing on plain paper. To do the other side, I'll do the same thing. I'll use my ruler and I'll measure over two inches and make a mark, and up one inch and make a mark. And now I can connect this point to this point, and that'll allow me to make the right side or right face of this object. Same thing I did on the other side to make this line here that goes up. I'll take my ruler and go up two inches and make a mark. Now I can connect this line. Oops. And I can connect this line. And that gets me those two faces, my front face and my right face. Now, like I said, I ended up running myself out of room here, but you can see the same kind of thing here. I would take this line out and this line out. I'll do this even though uh, I won't be able to do this all the way because I'm running out of room on the paper. And that'll be where I have my front or my uh, top face of this object. 